Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another edition of the Speaker Not a Podcast. And I'm your host, Darius Silver, aka Mr. GQ, bringing another episode for society, for the masses, for you, the people. And I'm ecstatic for today's episode. All right? But if you're a new viewer, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. What I need you to do right now, if you're a new viewer, is hit that subscribe button. It takes less than a second. Less than a second. So go and do that for me right now. Check out my social media platforms that you see on the screen, my uh, Facebook and Instagram, and most, most important, this particular uh, platform, YouTube. And uh, make sure you come along with me on this journey, along with my other um, people, my supporters. So, but yeah, I'm back for today's episode, an episode that I'm very excited about as well. Um, it kind of relates to my previous episodes, but kind of separately. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Excited to be back for you. Excited to be back in front of you guys for some more hard, but healthy conversation. And I'm excited to um, hopefully inspire more of you to speak up as you as you should see and as you should hear. Speak up because I promise you it'll make you better. It'll make you happier and uh, is needed for all of us in society. Men, women, older, younger, whatsoever is all needed. So speak up. So, if you're ready for today's episode, as we, as we always do, and as I always say, say with me, let's ride. So, for today's episode, uh, something that I, I, I want, I've been wanting to speak about, but kind of correlates to my one of my previous episodes that, I pre, that I've released so far. If you haven't seen that episode, please go check it out. Um, so, kind of listen to this particular episode. So for today's episode, it's a question to myself and a question to you guys. So for today's episode is, listen closely, why are men mostly or always to blame when a relationship ends, when a marriage ends, when a friendship ends, when a kind of a friendship is with a female, or when a situationship ends, etc.? Let me say it one more time. Why are men always to blame when a relationship ends, a marriage, situationship, friendship, etc.? Right? And I say that because it's a stigma in this world for a long time, past, present, most likely in the future, is when a, when a relationship ends, it could be it could be a six-month relationship, a one-month relationship, a one year six years, 20 years, 15 years, whatsoever, when they, when their marriage or relationship ends, nine times out of 10, a man is always to blame. And ask yourself that. I mean, I'm not trying to shape women in any, any, shape, any way, shape or form. That's what I'm far I'm trying to do. But I'm trying to bring awareness to why are men always to blame when something, when a relationship or a marriage ends, when it takes two people to be in the marriage, and when it takes two people to start a relationship or a marriage. And nine, nine, times, nine times out of 10, a woman is not, matter of fact, I'm saying this, a woman is not perfect as a whole. Men, men are perfect and women are perfect. So let me get that out the way. But why, but when it takes two people to start a marriage, and it takes two people to start a relationship. It takes two people to start a situation as well. So why are men always the first one to blame when something goes wrong and in, in, into a relationship? Right? That that guy goes into infidelities, lies, betrayal, disloyalty, etc. It happens on both sides of the aisle. Men and women. Women cheat, men cheat, women lie, men lie. Uh, women could be disloyal, men could be disloyal, right? Women, women can betray the other, the other side, same goes as for the man. So, why does, when something happens, society, family, friends are the first person, are the first one to take the, the woman's side? Not, not shading to the fact that, okay, she has a point, but why, without hearing the Aside the story, that's my issue. Why is always society people always jumping jumping to 
judgment that the man's always the problem. The man did it. The man did that. The man started this. The man started that. All right, without hearing both sides of the story, all the facts of the table, and what they're doing, instead of jumping to conclusions. And that's my issue. And you should ask the same question. And I'm telling you, that's how society is. That's how, that's how society always has always been. From now, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 50 years ago. I'm not, I'm not negating that men don't cheat because they do. This is, that's the fact of life. But you get, you get, you got your females out there have to know as well that women and you females as a collective have cheat as well. So yeah, I'm tired of society always saying that men are always the ones out here lying and cheating, doing this behind other people's back. But you guys do the same thing. Don't, this, don't females have um, side pieces? Don't females have different people that you guys talk to? Five or six, side five or six people that you guys talk to? Don't you guys, don't you, don't you guys and females, don't you guys, don't you females and relationships, um, hot stuff, big, small, or medium, am I lying? I'm not saying, I've never been married. I'm going to be the first one to say I've never been married, but I've been in relationships before. So I can speak to that particular, uh, category. And I, I'll be first, I've never been, a, I've never been in marriage. So I, I put that disclaimer out there, but it's still, it's still I'm still a man. Right, and that's why some men, that's why some men in today's world are afraid of getting married because it's a huge, tremendous cost than and getting divorced than leaving a relationship. Like a marriage and relationship are totally two different things because well, one, two things really, money and your last name. So that's a totally that's a totally that separates a, a marriage from a relationship is, is money in your last name. So that's the, so we think about what well, men get all the blame. Men, most of the time, men have bigger consequences than women. When you think about it, think about that. You know, when things go wrong and men are the first one to blame, most of the time they get the biggest, they get the bigger or the biggest consequence than a woman without hearing all the facts. Without with jumping to a conclusion, that's how society is. And I'm gonna ask you a question: Is that fair? To, to all the females out there, let me ask you this: If, you, if the roles were reversed, would you think that's fair? Without having all the facts and everything brought to the table. Now again, a disclaimer: I'm not saying that the man is always right, and I'm not saying that the woman is always right. I'm just asking for fair, transparent. Um, judgment and conclusions. And 2010, the man is always to blame um, when it comes to these situations, marriages, relationships. So again, all this particular, all this, all this factor, all this, all this factor it all in, you see why men are afraid to take the next step in life. 25 year olds, 30 year olds, 35 year olds, etc. You you see why uh, why men are afraid to take the next step. They can't have a perfect relationship without have, have having all these things going back and forth, what makes you think that marriage is okay? And you wonder why, because now again, men are the blame for, men are the blame for everything. And as a man, I'm the first one to say, I'm not I can probably speak for most men, I can't speak for all men, but I can speak for most men who's ever been in a, in a, in a, in a, in a relationship, a situation, a marriage, a friendship that you have been, you have been blamed for something without having the chance to give your side of the story or speaking up, I should say. And as all my, all my fellas out there that have been in those type of, uh, situations and marriages and relationships, you guys can back me up on that in the comment section, but, uh, or on social media. But I, I'm asking you guys, am I lying? I'm asking both genders, men or women. Yes, there's gonna be opinions and disagreements and all that whatsoever, but most of you guys out there could, could at least agree 
that that this that stigma, this stigma is the truth. I mean, I'm not getting the fact that men who've been in relationships that have done bad things um, shouldn't be um, held accountable, have consequences. I'm, I 100% agree when, when men mess up in relationships or marriages, I'm the first one to agree that they should be held accountable. I'm the first one to raise my hand that they should be accountable. I would hold myself accountable if I was one of those men that done stuff and done stuff. If I, if I was married, but then done done bad things whatsoever, I'd be the first one saying I need to be held accountable. But I'm I'm on the side where if he hasn't had the chance to prove himself that look, what happened in our marriage, what happened in our relationship was mutual, or it could have bad things happen on both sides, and that man was able to give was that man was able to give a chance, given a chance to speak up or say, hey look, these are the facts, hear me out. Am I, am, I, am, I, am I telling the truth? That's what, I'm, that's what I'm speaking on. That's what I want. That's why I have to say, look, that something needs to be said and talked about and change in life and society because women are guilty. Society are guilty when it comes to that. It could be peers, family members, society, strangers, the media, or whatsoever. They're guilty, they're guilty towards that. So I'm asking you guys the question. Is that fair? I should ask you guys the question again. Why are men all, why are men all, why are men always the blame? And yeah, there's a big there's a bigger um thought process that goes into it because probably science says that men are more more likely to, more likely to cheat or do bad things. Probably is a science behind it. There's probably data behind it. Who knows? Research behind it. It probably is. But science and data um, can't speak for all the men out there that have genuine hearts, genuine, genuine intentions, and do things the right way. And some men are man up to say, look, I'm going to be a man to take this consequence or take this quote unquote judgment, even though there's a bigger story to that. Right, that's what a man does. Most of the time, man take the man takes the um, the bigger takes takes the consequence. They don't mind doing that. That's what that's what a man's job is to do. Take take things on a hard heart, no matter how hard they might be in the media, in the world, in society. A real man is going is going to man up to us. Look, no matter what the truth is, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this and eat it up. That's what a man does. But that doesn't mean that does not mean it's fair. That's what this whole episode is about, fairness and transparency, about men being blamed all the time, no matter if they're in the right or in the wrong, about why marriages and relationships end. And again, it's my job to bring these issues to you guys to, to speak up on, to make sure you guys understand, like, they, these topics are a real, a real, a real world, and happen every single day, in the in the in the social media, newspapers, TV, news, they happen every single day. But some people never, some people never, ask, never thought to ask that question, All right? And I felt like my job is to find these small little topics that people don't think about. And I'm glad I thought about this particular topic because this is an important topic. And I'm glad. I'm bringing it to you guys for you guys to think about, right? So, in my opinion, do I think it's fair? Hell no, it's not fair at all because um, fairness and transparency comes from hearing both side, both parties' sides, and all the facts of the table, and hearing all sides' side of the story, and let uh, uh, let someone else be the judge of that, or come to a mutual agreement how things should end instead of having one thing be pushed on one person without having everything talked about, if that makes sense. But it's a sad topic though, because some men never get the chance to tell their stories about what happened in their marriage and relationships and then ruins their character going forward in life. When you think about that, so Think about that though, their character is ruined 
what I had because they they wasn't able to give a chance, given a chance to tell their story. And that's sad about what happened in that relationship or marriage or situa situationship. No matter what, it, no matter what it is, they never get a chance to tell that tell their story. And that's important in life. But hopefully, you got you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know I did. Hopefully, I brought some knowledge to you guys, some informational um, things to think about, and hopefully, I inspired you to uh, do some thinking and some research about this topic and other topics as well that revolves relationships and marriages as well. And I'm glad that I, I was I was given the chance to speak to you guys about this topic. So, what I need you to do if you if you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, like this video. One, two, subscribe to my um, podcast right now on YouTube. Two, check out my social media platforms on Instagram and Facebook. If you can, I appreciate you. Give me, give it a follow. And uh, four, go to, um, check out my previous episodes on this platform, YouTube. Be much appreciated. So, before that you get on out of here, uh, I appreciate you guys for all the support and continue to come back every week when I, when I release these new videos. I appreciate you guys and who, if you're a new viewer, I appreciate you for tuning in. If you made this far, please give this uh, um, podcast a uh, subscription, subscribe, and let's end this thing how we always do. As always, stay mellow, keep that mellow mind, stay focused on that path. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused. Stay focused. Keep that peaceful mindset always. And as my man, Kim Newton says, one finger, one pinky, one thumb, one love. Stay tuned for the next edition of the Speak Up Now podcast. I'm out. One love. Boom.